Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung and welcome, welcome, welcome to your friendly proctologist. Thank you so much for being here with me. I want to give you useful and helpful information because that's what this channel is about, okay? I'm not trying to hide things from you and you know what? I'm a sufferer just like you and I would want this information out there. It is my own opinion, but again, I hope these videos can at least help you a little bit. It's been great to meet all of you as well, and from all over the world, it's been truly an experience I never would have imagined. If you're interested in having a video consultation with me, just email your friendly proctologist at gmail.com. I'll send you all the details. So the question today is, Dr. Chung, can I have an anal fissure and a hemorrhoid problem at the same time. This is an awesome question because when I was going through training, I thought about this question, you know, how much more complex would the treatment be if you have both of these running at the same time in a patient? And so I think it's a very good question to ask because, you know, when we're trying to figure out what solution we want for ourselves, we gotta know what the problems are, right? And it would help to know, well, can it be just one or is it two? Is it six? Is the world that cruel that it would give me more than one problem in such a small area of my butt? You know, the hole is like an inch wide, 2.54 centimeters. Anyway, so let's go through the question. The answer, first of all, is yes, you can. The world, unfortunately, can be that cruel, okay? And I'll tell you that the things that create an anal fissure are the same things that can create a hemorrhoid flare-up, right? We talk about hemorrhoid, uh, hemorrhoids being flared up with hard or loose stools, really unsatisfying stool textures for the anus. We talk about big stools rubbing against the hemorrhoids causing a hemorrhoid flare and we also talk i've got some notes here and we're talking about friction right sometimes our bottom ends are just spasmed down or really tightened down and anything that goes through your anus when it's squeezing that hard can cause a hemorrhoid flare up because it's like rubbing on sandpaper and don't forget our hemorrhoids are so sensitive they really can get messed up even under some really good conditions, which you may not expect. And the same things for anal fissures, right? Hard poops, big stretched out poops, diarrhea, and also, of course, the friction. Things that rub against it can easily rip something apart, right? And that is difficult. You have to give yourself credit that this is not easy and pe every person that comes to my office with both of these issues yeah none of them are having a good time and all of them find their way to try and get help because they want to know understand what the problem is right so what would this feel like if you have both at the same time well i'll tell you it feels like hell okay i mean if you have the anal fissure which again classically is that ripping sharp pain really piercing pain and then your hemorrhoids can kind of do the same thing uh, especially if it's an external hemorrhoid that's giving the problem but if it's an internal hemorrhoid problem you can get the aching you can get the soreness the fullness um, and depending on how you perceive the pain it can vary quite a bit and it can be actually more vague or even like a little bit nebulous at some times. And what might you see is that you may see bleeding, but you won't know, is it because I have a fissure? Because that can bleed. Or is it because of my hemorrhoids? Because that can also bleed. Or is it from both of them? I don't know. I don't know, right? Um, so how can you look for these things? How can you kind of give, give yourself some heads up as to what's going on? All right. so. For an anal fissure, you've got to look between the skin folds, and this takes some talent. Okay, it's really tough to do on your own because you really got to get in there. All right, when I'm seeing patients and I, I can see these anal fissures, I really got to get in there. But you don't need to stick something in your butt 
to find it, okay? Um, again, this is really tough if you're trying to take your cell phone and do this by yourself, very tough. But someone might be able to do it for you, all right? Um, and you'll see a cut in your bottom end. It looks like someone literally took a knife and cut you open. What about hemorrhoids? Well, the internal hemorrhoids, it's really difficult to see it from the outside, but if you've got a juicy pink, um, very wet type of tissue coming out of your bottom end, then that can be your internal hemorrhoids coming out, okay? And so maybe that's the maybe that's the clue that you're having a hemorrhoid flare where usually you're not having anything come out if it's your external hemorrhoids flaring up well then you're going to see a swollen ball on your outside so maybe it's just a swollen bag of vessels they're all soft though or is it a thrombosed external hemorrhoid where you actually had a bleeding episode and then you've got a blood clot on the outside of your bottom end so those are some different clues as to give you a heads up without you know putting a scope yourself into your bottom end of what might be happening right well what can you do then if you've got this kind of issue going on and you're you know you want to help yourself out well the first thing is to kind of address the issues that cause a problem in the first place you want to get your stools to be soft again you know maybe you had you were sick and you had diarrhea 15 times in two days and now your butt is just on fire so trying to get your diet back on track trying to get the soft stool textures you know whatever that may be that's causing that disturbance is the first step because we've got to use your anus however often you use it whether it's once every week or once you know twice or three times a day if we give it the soft stools that it needs it's going to recover faster be careful with the fiber i'm not against fiber but be careful with overloading on the fiber because it can backfire on you and watch my videos on the fiber i go into great detail about the pros and cons of it but we don't want to overload and just fall into the trap of the internet which tells us that you can't get enough fiber and the more fiber you get the better off you are because both of those are incorrect not everybody needs that much fiber because maybe they get it through their diet maybe their body doesn't like that much fiber okay and that's going to really solve also the big stools that are stretching out your bottom end and also help you with your constipation if you're trying to if you're really pushing hard okay the other part of things is of course using like tox pads preparation h with lidocaine to numb things up and with the fissure i highly suggest seeing your doctor for that because they can prescribe you like diltiazem ointment Nitroglycerin is another one that's very popular. It can give you headaches, but again, these are all things that can be used together so that you can treat your hemorrhoids and the anal fissure at the same time. Some doctors will also prescribe steroid cream and that helps to decrease the inflammation to calm things down. And that's safe to use when you have a fissure as well with the hemorrhoids. Totally fine to do that. It's not gonna harm anything. And so can those creams all be used together, the nitroglycerin or diltiazem with the steroid cream? And yes, they can. What about the preparation H? Yeah, throw that in there too. It's A-okay. And so another question I want to address is, can you have three at the same time, three conditions, like anal fissure, um, hemorrhoid flare, can you have an internal and external hemorrhoid flare all at the same time? That's three. Yes, you can. Can you have anal itching problems at the same time? Yes, you can. Can you have an anal fistula or an anal abscess at the same time? Yes, you can. <laughs> and. I don't mean to discourage you with all those things, but yes, they can coexist. Um, have I seen anybody with all those combined? No, usually they're not all all together. That's the world, the stars do not align. Thank goodness that it doesn't do that to us. Um, but 
I've seen patients where there's three problems going on at once, and yeah, the treatment plan, I try to make as comprehensive as possible to address everything together. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. You know, trying to think about the problems that you have and not just thinking it's just one thing, but maybe there could be several things going on. And it's important to address each one of those because there's, you know, a little, like you're making a stew. You throw an ingredient for your hemorrhoids, throw another ingredient for your fissure, throw another ingredient for your itching, maybe for anal fistula and a little speck for an anal abscess or two, you know, that kind of thing. But Again, that's why diagnosis and seeing a specialist, in my opinion, is so vital so that someone who's really seen a lot of these issues can make the diagnosis. You can be feeling better quickly. Well, thank you so much again. I hope you take care of yourselves and deal the best you can. Take care. Bye-bye.